Are you doing what I tell you? You live in a cold area? Hi. All the way, 100%, no ifs, ands, or buts about it, okay? Don't just wash your face and think, oh, it's summertime, it's hot outside, let me just wash and then go do my makeup. No. What up, what gone? Et it's your girl, Mena Dubia, and in this video, I am going to hit you to what you need to do to prepare for the summer, which is upon us, and even for the spring too. So let's talk about how you need to alter, modify, fix up a few things in your makeup kit to make sure that your makeup's gonna last you all through the summer days and nights, all right? If you wanna see this video, then stick around and keep watching. Now, before we get started, make sure that you are subscribed here. Make sure you follow me on Instagram because when I'm not here, I am am there posting lots of videos, IG stories. It's all a vibe. If you are not already and you are in the US, make sure you join my text community. It is free. You can text me. It is me. It goes right to my phone. It's a whole thing. Okay. I'm also sitting right in front of the window. We are using natural lighting today. I've, I've discussed this in many of my videos, but I thought, let me make a clear and concise video for those of you who may not have watched all of those other ones and want to know how to make sure that your makeup looks good in the summertime to make sure that it lasts like all the things, right? The key here is you need to change up what you're using. I told my sister, I'm like, you need to have a makeup kit or an assortment of items for the winter time, usually more hydrating products, unless you are a dry dehydrated skin type. If you're dry and dehydrated, right? You may feel like you still want to maintain a hydrating makeup routine in the summertime. But to make this simple, because I feel like as I speak, like I told you that it's going to be confusing. I'm going to just tell you the key products that I'm going to be reaching for because of my skin type. So I have combination skin, right? Sometimes a little bit dry, a little bit oily sometimes. It's just a mix of both of those. I do have rosacea, but we're not here to discuss that in itself. It's more so what does my skin feel like after I've washed it? Does it start to feel tight? Yeah, I have dehydrated skin. I normally stick with combination because I can wear hydrating products sometimes. I can wear matte products sometimes. If you have skin like me, then in the summertime, I want to be matte all the way, 100%, no if, ands, or buts about it, okay? In the winter time, for me, I, as you saw, was wearing a lot of hydrating products. I was loving the NARS, the Charlotte Tilbury, which I actually have on today. I'll link this video for you below. This is me wearing the Elf Cosmetics Powder Foundation. I wore three of them. And all of the other hydrating products I was in love with. I mean, the primers, the setting sprays, when I did use them, I would go for something that was more hydrating because my skin feels dry in the winter time. Think about it, the heat is on. Or if you're here in Houston, the AC still on when it's hot outside, okay? All of that is drawing moisture from our skin. Not only that, it's cold outside. If you live in a cold weather area, you are going to feel dry. Like that's just what it is, okay? So even if you not someone that grew up with dry skin, you may still be experiencing dry skin because you're like, yo, why am I so dry? You live in a cold area. Hi. And even here in Houston, when it's cold outside in the wintertime, I feel drier all over and especially on my face. So in the wintertime, I do stick with hydrating products. In the summertime, baby, don't even, don't at me, don't talk to me, don't even come next to me. We are not doing hydrating products, period. So I'm actually going to start changing out the products that are in my makeup kit that I use in the studio or here in the living room. And also the one that I use in the bathroom and the one I use on travel because the one I have on travel, the foundation I have, it is the Makeup Forever one, the new one, is a satin finish. So satin is a mix between matte and dewy. It's beautiful, it looks great, but it's not going to keep me mad. It's starting to get hot out here, okay? This is a long explanation, but I want you to understand. I don't wanna just put out videos just because. I like to teach you. I want you to get it, like understand why we're making these changes, you know? Now, let's not forget that you still wanna make sure that you are still doing your skincare. Skincare does not stop in the summertime. It does not stop in the wintertime. Skincare is 365, 24, seven. Do your skincare, please, in the name of Jesus. I thank you. Morning and night, get a skincare routine. I've, I share several of them here. I'm always doing my skincare. I'm always sharing it here and on IG. Watch them, girl. It's important. The skin beneath your makeup does matter. It makes a difference when you actually do your makeup. You wanna look like correct at all times. With your skincare, you are putting on SPF, right? Every single day, it doesn't matter if it's raining outside, inside, outside, put it on. Then you go to your primer. 
So for primers this summer, unless I discover something new, I'm going to be sticking with the NYX Cosmetics Can't Stop, Won't Stop Primer. Listen, this one has been tried and true for me for years. I love it. The thing about this one though is, it gets real ashy real fast. So it reminds me of Milk of Magnesium back in the day. We used to do Milk of Magnesia, which was so bad and like really dangerous and like terrible. Yeah, like I used to do that, <laughs> even on clients, it's like so bad. This was like 10 years ago, you know, when I was a artist, but we all did it. And we, we like putting it on and then seeing the ash white cast because that signified that it was it had dried out that area of the face and that the makeup on top of that was going to remain matte, okay? Well, I discovered NYX Cosmetics Can't Stop, Won't Stop Primer and it does the same thing, honey. You got to be careful though you can't rub it too much you want to apply a thin layer because i've had i've made my mistake of applying a thick layer to the forehead and then it just looks real psychotic you don't want that for yourself so thin layer get it in place and leave it the more you rub it it's going to start looking crazy it is going to dry down white that is good and then you want to go on with your foundation we're doing this on top of skincare though don't just wash your face and think oh it's summertime it's hot outside let me just wash and then go do my makeup no because you can still look so dry that you look crusty we're not doing crust we're doing comfortable matte you know we want to be matte but still look comfortable still look healthy still look alive i don't want you to look so dry it's borderline morgue i don't want that okay now the other primer that i'm going to be using depending on the day or the time of day will be the milk hydro grip now this one gives a more satin finish. So it's that in between that I mentioned. It's not it's not a matte primer. And I wouldn't call it a hydrating primer, at least not on my skin. Everyone's skin is different. You might react differently to these products. And I do want to also make one caveat. With the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop, there's no assurance that you're just not going to get oily at all. You're just not going to be as oily as you could be if you hadn't used it. But you also need to make sure that it has to be in conjunction with the primer and the setting spray, which we're going to talk to we're gonna get to that in a second, okay? Back to Milk Hydro Grip. I like it because it gives that satin finish, it grips onto the foundation, and it's certainly gonna be helpful to use on, let's say, cooler nights that are not sweltering hot, but definitely not for the daytime. It's not gonna be my daytime shindig. You feel what I'm saying? Daytime, going straight up, be NYX, can't stop, won't stop. I used to really enjoy the Becca ever map, but you know Becca's out of business, honey, so we ain't talking about Becca right now. We're talking about something different. But if I stumble upon other matte primers, I will definitely let you know, but the, that's, that's my lineup that I'm thinking of for this summer. Now onto foundation, you already know that last summer we ran right through NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation, full coverage, it's amazing, it's dry, it's matte, it's amazing, it's comfortable, it looks great. And my color last summer was D, is it D3 or D3 Iguasu? I'll see what, it looks, what it's looking like, you know what I'm saying, for this year, but I definitely like that one. It's giving spackle, okay? It's giving going a long way, very full coverage, you're looking matte, all right? If you're someone, this is gonna confuse you more because even as I think about it, I'm like, ooh, the confusion. I've discussed this before where it's like, you can go full power, I call it high power matte, where you're doing the matte primer, the matte foundation, the matte setting spray, right? Or you can go semi, so that's satin, and you can perhaps do a matte primer, a matte foundation, and maybe a satin setting spray. Or a hydro grip, so a satin primer, a matte foundation, and a matte setting spray. So there are ways that you can mix the three. Those are the three main components to think about because you can craft your makeup routine to best fit you. The real honest truth is you just gotta try these different routines out, try the different products, like the different primer, the different foundation, the different setting spray, and then go through your day and see how your skin reacts to it. You might say, mm, wait a minute, nope, let me make sure that I do the matte 
matte setting spray tomorrow. Like you just gotta try it out. Is this just no tried and true foolproof way to do it? Cause your skin is different, where you live is different. It just all makes a difference, okay? Now back to foundation, NARS Soft Matte, definitely a great one, has to be on the list. Fenty Beauty Pro Filter, the matte, the soft matte version, gotta be on the list, real dry, dries fast. You have to blend that thing quickly. NARS Soft Matte gave me some time to blend it in, but Fenty Pro Filter, you need to hurry up and blend. I got into a little bit of an issue with this last summer because I've gotten darker. I don't know what happened, but 450 is definitely not my color in the Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation. And then I thought I was 470, but then it was kind of red, so I need to figure this out. But it is definitely on my list because it's giving real gridlock. Real gridlock, full coverage, lightweight amazingness. So if you have the NARS Soft Matte or the Fenty Pro Filter and you plan on wearing it this summer, I want you to comment and let me know. Of course, along with the primer, the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop, there's also the foundation for it. I used to wear Deep Cool and I recently got rid of it because it's just like, eh. I'm liking a more neutral foundation these days. I'm fine going cool with my powder, but I'm loving the neutral foundation undertone. So I'm not gonna use that. I'm gonna go and get shade matched to get a more neutral version of that foundation because I do love it. It is matte, it is full coverage, it is beautiful, it is lightweight, it is all the things, okay? And that is definitely a good drugstore option to add to your kit. So the last foundation that I'm gonna be using this summer is the Maybelline Superstay. I wear the color Deep Bronze, but I don't know if that's gonna actually be my summer color because you know our skin tones do lighten and darken depending on the time of year how often you're getting outside x y and c and i remember wearing that last year ish but it has been some time so I'm gonna see and if I need to I will get a different color but that foundation is really really good full coverage lightweight drugstore amazing option Now, the last part of this routine, obviously if you're going a more simple, simplified version, I don't believe that you need to change your concealer based on the time of year, but you could. And I could do a video on that if you wanna hear it, but I don't wanna confuse you because I feel like I have already, okay? If you're confused, comment and let me know because, oh my God, okay. So the last step in your routine is the setting spray, right? I know I don't use setting sprays every routine, but I do keep them around because there is a time and place for for them. If you're wanting to go full high power matte and you've done the mattifying primer, the matte foundation, and then you're wanting a matte setting spray, then the Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. Use the ultra matte version, honey child. It's gonna match you down, 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 down to the ground. Now, give it a good shake and also, you know, hold it far from your face. Spray an ample amount. You might see some white dots. That's the product that helps to keep the face mattified. Just take your sponge or your finger and just press. Don't be alarmed by that. That stuff works really, really good. Now, if you're wanting to mix up your routine, like let's say for instance you do the matte primer matte foundation matte setting spray and you're like you go through your day you're like wow i was too dry then like i said mix it up maybe you do your matte primer your matte foundation and then you do a satin setting spray then get the regular urban decay all-nighter long-lasting makeup setting spray the regular one will leave you satin a little bit of a sheen but not too much okay that's how you can change things up if you do this and then it's too much for you or not enough you know if it's not enough then maybe you just do oily. Like, I don't know. <laughs> You know, like give this a shot because these are definitely good products that are that I have used year after year that really do work. Now, like I said some moments ago, you may still get oily and it's natural. Our skin produces oil. You in fact want that to happen. You know why? Because dry skin cracks first, okay? The oily skin chicks among us are gonna have softer, more supple skin longer than those who have dry skin. So. Don't demonize your face producing oil, but I do understand how it can be annoying. You may want to go way back to the SPF and actually use a mattifying SPF. I'm told that Black Girl Sunscreen has a matte version. I'll link that one below. Try that. I haven't tried it because I do like to be dewy with my 
sunscreens, okay? But give that a shot. And then do your matte sunscreen, your matte primer, your matte foundation, your matte setting spray. Boo-boo, you gonna be looking dry, dry. But be careful, like I said, because if it's too much, you are gonna look psychotic. But it just might be enough if you are someone that is extremely oily. If you have combination skin, you can certainly do the routine I just said, but give it a shot. Go through your day. If you feel like, mm, I was feeling stiff today, then pull back on one of those areas and choose a more satin finished product. You understand? Tailor it to meet your needs. Comment and let me know if you've tried this, if you plan on trying it, or when you do try it, come back and let me know what you did and what worked and what didn't work. You might wanna start this now, even in the spring, if you're still feeling like, yo, I'm mad oily. But the, the main culprit you wanna start off with is changing your foundation because if you've been on this wave, like me and a lot of others, using these hydrating, skincare infused, dewy foundations, it's coming to an end, okay? Like, we are pulling up to the train station. We are now going to offboard all of the passengers. The show is over, at least for me. I mean, I would imagine that it's over for you as well. It's definitely over because the shine is just not gonna work for me anymore. I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope you laughed. I hope you learned something too. Take some notes, girl. And like I always tell you, are you doing what I tell you, okay? Or are you here just to laugh and smile? If you are, I appreciate it, okay? Are you here for the looks or are you here to learn something? I hope you're here for both of them. I love to give the entertainment value, as you can see, but I also want you to learn because you gotta know what you're doing. Do your face, get it right, do all the things. My snap is not really working today, but that's okay. <laughs> Hi. I'm gonna link two other videos for you at the end because I don't want you to go too far. I want you to watch one of those and stick around. Make sure you subscribe to my channel here. Follow me on Instagram. And as always, I'm glad you're here. Thanks for watching my video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.